welcome to commencement 2019. <clears throat> the faculty, staff, and administration of Quinsigamond Community College join you in celebrating your student today. As you well know, this has been a long road for your graduate, and we are delighted to join you in celebrating them today. If you or someone in your party is in need of anything, please see someone with a staff lanyard. The entire ceremony will be American Sign Language interpreted. Thank you. The best sight lines for this interpreter are from section 107. Bathrooms and refreshments are available on the concourse. First aid is available just outside section 121. Students will be picking up their certificates and degrees in the South Hall after the ceremony. Please plan to meet them outside of the DCU after the line of march has exited the arena. Thank you for being here today. Congratulations to the class of 2019. Let the ceremony begin.
Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2019. You did it. <laughs> Welcome, honored guests, esteemed colleagues, dedicated faculty and staff, cherished families and friends, and most especially, our graduates, the class of 2019. <laughs> Please stand or remain standing as we welcome two of our own students, Josue Dabalea and Troy Johnson, to sing the national anthem. Thank you for that wonderful rendition of our national anthem. Please remain standing. <laughs> as I would like us to have a moment of silence in recognition of those we have lost this year and are not able to be present to celebrate this joyous occasion. We have lost friends, family members, teachers, and students. And let us forever keep them in our memories. Please show me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. As we kick off today's ceremony, I would like to acknowledge the other members of the platform party, members of our board of trustees, our Foundation Board President, our guest speaker, Ivy Nguyen, our very distinguished Professor Emeriti, State Representative Peter Durant and Mary Keefe, representatives from the faculty, students, and alumni who will present greetings today, the instructional deans, the registrar of the college, and members of my executive team. Additionally, we welcome Katie Abel, Associate Commissioner for External Affairs for the Department of Higher Education, 
Ms. Abel will present greetings to the college and to you on behalf of the Department of Higher Education. Ms. Abel. Good afternoon. It is wonderful to be here and to bring greetings from our Commissioner of Higher Education, Carlos Santiago. And on behalf of the Board of Higher Education, I hereby bestow degree granting authority to Quinsigamon Community College. I can speak with confidence when I tell you on behalf of the board that we believe in your ability to thrive, succeed, and to make very good on the investment that Massachusetts has made in your future. You, each one of our public college and university graduates as represented here at QCC today are very unique in Massachusetts. We see it time and time again all over the state, how you are connected deeply to your communities and have been willing to give back and to help others through volunteering despite the heavy load that you carry with courses and jobs and kids to raise. So I wanna congratulate each one of you for all that you have accomplished, not just as students, but as citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I hope that you will continue to give back even as you move forward. So thanks for letting me share your special day. Thank you, Ms. Abel. It is now my honor to introduce someone who was chosen by the faculty to deliver a special message. Uh, here, representing the faculty, who have had an important influence in your lives is Professor Andriana Grimaldo, Professor of Mathematics. Good afternoon and welcome. I want to extend a very warm welcome to family and friends of our graduates, to my colleagues, to honored guests, to members of the platform, President Pedraja, and most importantly, welcome and congratulations to Quinsigamon Community College Class of 2019. It is my very deep honor to stand here before you today and represent Quinsigamon Community College's faculty that number almost 500 strong. As I look around, there is no coincidence or mistake as to the seating arrangement of our graduation ceremony here at the DCU Center. Graduates, you are the very center of this arena. You are the most important people here today, and being in the center is exactly where you should be. Students are the center of QCC. You have worked long and hard to achieve your academic goals, and to receive the certificate or the degree that represents your successful hard work. Surrounding all of us are your family and friends. For many of you, without their unwavering support, you would not be sitting here today. To the left and right of you graduates and sitting amongst you are your faculty. As faculty, we have been very fortunate to have been able to work with you throughout your academic journey. We have watched you struggle to complete assignments and we have celebrated with you when you have successfully mastered subject matter. We have watched you balance life off campus with your academic responsibilities along with um, your life off campus and you have succeeded every day faculty comes to campus to teach students, but at the same time, we have learned so much from you. We believe in each one of you. Being a part of this incredible academic journey of yours has been humbling and, inspir and inspiring. This is QCC's mission, student-centered, surrounded by teaching and learning. On behalf of Quinsigamon Community College faculty that have taught you subject matter that has excited and ignited you, from the faculty 
that have taught you subject matter that may have challenged or even frustrated you, and from the faculty that may have taught you subject matter that you may think you will never use, but I assure you, you will. Congratulations. It has been an honor to have shared this part of your life's journey. Enjoy today's ceremony and know that the faculty at QCC are so very proud of each one of you. Good luck. Thank you, Andrina, for that wonderful message to our graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you Stephanie Teixeira, who brings greetings from today's graduating class. Stephanie is the 2018-2019 Student Senate President, is a member of Phi Theta Kappa, works part-time in our Veterans Affairs Office, and is involved with many other campus organizations and activities. While at QCC, Stephanie majored in liberal arts and liberal arts history and sociology option. Simultaneously, she has earned a bachelor's degree from Bay Path University and is working towards her master's degree in higher education administration. I am very proud to introduce this year's students greeter, Stephanie Texera. Thank you, Dr. Pedraja. Barbara Moskalski was the longest serving female in the United States Senate, to which she was elected after serving a decade in the U.S. House of Representatives. She focused her efforts on fighting social inequities across the board for all marginalized people. The 2015 recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom had this to say about education in our country. Community colleges are one of America's great social inventions, a gateway to the future for first-time students looking for an affordable college education and for mid-career students looking to get ahead in the workplace. Today, we embody that truth. Distinguished guests, family, administrators, and faculty, we thank you for coming to celebrate this achievement with all of us. We have faced a variety of barriers, and yet we have all persevered and succeeded at the highest level. This room is filled with brilliant, fierce, brave, strong, self-assured, and empowered people that I am honored to call my classmates. Being a student at Quinn Sigamon was a time of immense academic and personal growth as our boundaries were pushed to better ourselves and open our minds from our advisors, faculty, and each other. Each professor not only educated us on the core subject matter, but also gave us permission to find our own voice, the importance of being confident in who we are, and to be unapologetic in, as we stand in our strength and walk in our truth. They changed the way we viewed the world because they changed the way we viewed ourselves in it entering not only the workforce, but to be a force in the world. As we march into the next phase of our individual journeys, whatever you do, make sure it feeds your soul. No matter which boardroom, classroom, or conference room around the world we will now enter, if there's another community college alumni in the room, we will have an immediate connection. An immediate connection on shared values of leadership, personal empowerment, community service, and all of these skills we have mastered with all of your guidance. Moving forward, we will not be complacent, resting on the accomplishments and the honors that we have received here. For this moment is the culmination of our challenges accepted and mastered. I want to share a quote that has been part of my personal education journey. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the reward of a thing well done is to have done it. I can finally say with confidence that I have done it, that we all have done it. It took me three years to get to the moment that we're in today, and we are a room of filled with success stories. We came to QCC to attain job advancement, learn a skilled trade, help humanity, change a career, 
or further an educational goal with a certificate or degree. Today is the reward, the celebration of a grand journey that we all took to get here. To all who championed us along the way, from the bottom of our hearts and the top of our lungs, thank you. Thank you for your daily support and encouragement. To my fellow classmates, I am humbled to have learned with and from each of you. Today, we are a room of dreams fulfilled. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Stephanie. You did a wonderful job, and you will be missed at the college. We wish you the best of luck as you continue your education, although I suspect that um, you won't be a stranger to QCC. Students, all of you, as you graduate today, you'll become the newest members of the QCC Alumni Association. And I would like to introduce Cheryl Marino, the president of our Alumni Association. Cheryl received her associate degree from QCC in 2004. She is with us today to deliver greetings and best wishes on behalf of more than 32,000 Twin Sigmund alumni. Cheryl? President Pajaha, members of the board and trustees, and the class of 2019, faculty, staff, families, and guests, it's a great honor to represent the Alumni Association on this special day. <clears throat> the education you receive here at Quincy Gimmin is far greater than textbooks and classrooms. It is your foundation of your future, a successful future in which this wonderful institution has prepared you for. Graduates, in this great nation of ours, opportunities are endless, and each of you will make a difference. Every day, graduates make our community stronger with their contributions. <clears throat> the Alumni Association is built is made up of all graduates of Quinsigamon Community College. We engage in fundraisers to promote, um, provide scholarships in need of students, and we hold uh, events that provide opportunities to socialize and network with fellow graduates. As you come forward today, we'll present you with a pin, alumni pin, welcoming you to our alumni association. Wear it proudly as I have. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you. Graduates, and thank you, Cheryl. It's nicely done. And thank you for all your continued uh, work here at Quinn Sigamon.